grim day, so I've decided to throw my hat into the ring and create a list of the Christmas movies I watch every year on Christmas Eve. I watch them in an order order. I always start with the same movie, which is Santa Claus the Movie. Not the Tim Allen film, The Santa Claus, but the 1985 film with John Lithgow and Dudley Moore and David Huddleston. It starts with the origin story of Santa Claus, which I find really wonderful. And that's why it really heads up my list of Christmas movies, because it it shows an origin story for Santa Claus, for all the little nuances, the naughty and nice list, his reaction to the poem A Night Before Christmas, why he uses the reindeer, why the elves were making toys. David Huddleston is wonderful as Santa Claus. He has a real on-screen presence and is someone you could believe actually is the character, not just a fat guy in the suit. Dudley Moore brings a huge amount of energy to his role as Patch the Elf, and John Lithgow is a, is a brilliant character. Uh, BZ, strange name, but he spends most of his time cracking his knuckles and smoking cigars, which is hilariously funny. The whole, the whole feel of the movie is one of joy. The costumes are bright. The sets with the elves are wonderfully painted. Everything looks like it was made of of wood and crafted. But even the even the manufacturing, the the sort of production line that is built at one stage of the film, looks like it was created by the elves. It all looks perfectly believable and perfectly themed. I always start my evening with it for Christmas Eve because it just it just provides such a great origin for all the things that follow it. The second movie on my list is The Snowman. It's a classic now. I grew up with this film. It came out in 1982. It's the innocent story of a child building a snowman, sharing a magical adventure. The animation is flawless. The music is so inspirational. And the ending is so very sad. Even today, it's it's just such a sad ending. The Nightmare Before Christmas is the third movie on my list. It provides a new take on the Christmas movie. As in The Nightmare Before Christmas, holidays are created by basically festive civil servants. Like Jack the Pumpkin King and sort of Christmas elves and Santa Claus. They're all... A form of festive civil servant who believe that their holiday basically is the only holiday they live for the entire year to make one holiday and the premise of the film is that the population of Halloween Town decide to try and create Christmas but believing that everyone enjoys Halloween all year round they create a Christmas which is based on Halloween. So there's gifts, but they're Halloween themed gifts. Because they don't understand that people don't like to be scared all year round. Which is a bit of a, a bit of a spoiler. But if you haven't seen the film by now you shouldn't really be listening to my list. It's a wonderful styled film and makes me always think of various things like how would a Halloween themed Thanksgiving, Easter or Valentine's go or maybe a Thanksgiving themed Easter and Valentine's and Christmas it would be a strange idea just the idea of a turkey themed Valentine's Day very strange idea I don't quite know how that would work but it's a strange one the fourth item on my list is Blackadder's Christmas Carol The opening of it really just sums it up. In the reign of Good Queen Vic, there stood in Dumpling Lane in Old London Town the moustache shop of one Ebenezer Blackadder, the kindest and loveliest man in all England. Which Hugh Laurie says a lot better than I do, but I'd probably get in trouble if I put his version online again. I still don't understand what a moustache shop is, but that doesn't really take from the the sort of rest of the film there probably is some sort of reason behind a moustache shop possibly they sell creams or some kind of little moustache combs or something 
somewhere where Poirot or someone like that goes to get their moustache sorted out. But I digress. I enjoy Blackadder's Christmas Carol because it is such an interesting take on A Christmas Carol. I've seen so many different versions with sort of broad speaking Shakespearean actors and various other people, even the Muppets and various other people. But Blackadder's Christmas Carol always was better for me because it actually brings something new to it in the form of the retelling in a almost a reverse with Blackadder being the good guy who everyone takes advantage of then becoming the bad guy at the end. Even even sort of established characters that you know of are a strange twisted version of themselves. Tiny Tim in this version is really big and fat. When Blackadder is good he suggests just giving him more food but when he's evil he tells Mrs. Cratchit to scoop him out and use him as a houseboat. Fifth, Die Hard. Not much you can really say about that aside from now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. The dialogue in it is ridiculously over the top. The acting, well, Alan Rickman just steals the show. It's a traditional gun-toting action movie. There's nothing really much to say about that. It's perfect for when you just want to sit back, put your feet up, and just enjoy people shooting each other. Kind of like watching someone else play Call of Duty, except not so whiny. And not so many people playing it who shouldn't actually have a copy of it because they're underage. And there we have my list of five Christmas movies and specials. It's not the same as other people's lists. Um, I do enjoy films like It's a Wonderful Life. But they're not movies I sit down and watch every year on Christmas Eve. These are my, as I said, my the films I watch on Christmas Eve. Thanks for listening. And remember, bad guys have all the fun.